get Ling take on C, one of the most up and coming players of all time. Well, well, you, you know there's this thing called co bias in commentary that we're not supposed to do. Right I'm going to be super biased. Okay, well, super speaking biased of this super biased, we you can be unbiased if you want to be. I'm going to be biased. Fair enough, but <laughs> we've got a, speaking of super, we've got a super great set here ahead of us that C is starting off with a quick neutral win into a juggle. Ling now trying to get down and Peach's floatiness can be a little bit of a struggle in this matchup, right? It's just so hard for her to find a way down the stage and maintain that stage control, but float going to be the key to that early. Yeah, uh, definitely sh C definitely showing that right there. Like, got, I think, three up airs in a row into a side beam for a juicy 74%, and uh, that is definitely not something you like to see if you are Ling starting off very weakly. You know, <laughs> some people are like, oh, you got to start strong. Well, some people have to start weak, you know? You know if one I mean, person starts strong, I mean, the other person starts you got to start weakly. weakly. It's a weakly. <laughs> ah, it is. Well, it's, it's a weakly, but... Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a weekly. It's a weekly, but it's it's a different. It's like a built different weekly, you know. Yep. And <laughs> speaking of that float cancel into the grab, it's built a little bit different. Just the standard turn up coming out, but Ling with a beautiful jump calling out the plaque cancel, and that was a stitch face already. Ling showing why he is RNG Jesus, and the bomber coming in side B, closing out the stock, and Ling somehow finding a lead after that start. Not gonna find the tech though, that and the explosive flame. He doesn't have anything, but somehow manages to find his way back. That entire that entire offstage sequence was so like mind-boggling. Like my my mind was blown like multiple times throughout that entire sequence. I was like, is Link dead? Link missed that tech. He barely missed the fi the uh, exploding flame, man. <laughs> somehow gets back. Yep, and I mean, speaking of Ling, not quite ready there, not expecting that explosive flame to linger quite that long. A little bit of a rare gap in 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 in, in awareness from him playing under the platform. Uh, oh, oh, now Peach, or sorry, uh, Palutena. Thank you, Palu. <laughs> yeah, Palu. Right, so based on her air game that playing under those platforms can force her to approach. To right, it lands her approach, limits the way angle she gets to, and allows Peach to make better use of those turnips. However, C is doing a great job finding ways in using these dash attacks, and but it's not mattering as Ling is just holding a chokehold on stage control. Yeah, he is definitely. Anytime Ling gets a, a hit and he hits him off the stage, he is definitely uh, using the advantage of a stage control extremely well. C, on the other hand, has been doing really good on the vertical advantage when uh, he has Ling up in the air to catch his landings. Not doing great at keeping Ling in the corner. Ling is doing an amazing job of getting out of these corner situations, which is pretty surprising because Palutena is very good at them. Man, you got to stop speaking because you're going to cast or curse him just like you no, did it's there. Fine. Getting it's fine. called out with that delay on the dash attack. But now somehow still finding a way to reversal the situation, get back stage control just for a second. Going to prioritize this platform again, right? Just to prevent Palo from finding these falling nares. But C's doing a great job forcing Ling out. It's not going to matter, though, that drift back isn't going to do it. And that's a dot eyes, I believe. Yep, that yes, is it a dot is. eyes. So has an opportunity, not going to make too good use of it. And the back air going to close out the stock. But I think the story so far has been how good C has been at negating Ling's turn at play. Yeah, uh, he hasn't really gotten a lot of turn and stuff. No, I, I don't mean, think saw, I've seen him hit we saw, we saw him uh, pull a stitch face and a dot eyes and didn't hit either, yep. which is pretty uh, pretty telling. Well, has he hit a single turn at this game? Because I don't think he has. Uh, you're asking way too much of my memory right okay, now. And, well, but I do remember C taking the second stock of Ling right there at only a 13% deficit. Yeah, I mean, this game has been so incredibly even. And That's C beating Jen last week, I believe, beat... Quid as well. Like, Quid. Won we, the tournament, by yeah, the way. That's that's not easy to that's do. That's huge. Right? Like, like that's not easy to do. There's a lot of people saying. who will beat everyone who have won tournaments in the area, but not actually oh, win the no. tournament. But you're not gonna beat Ling if you let it be you sending him to the driving range, hitting it out of the park, hundred yard there. That yep. driver from Peach is quality the only royal money can buy, and that's why we see Ling up 1-0. And the battlefield counterpick coming out from C. Yeah, we need to we need to tax the rich, tax Peach. <laughs> yeah, tax Peach, and I mean that's what C's doing here, right? A lot of people consider Battlefield to be one of Peach's worst stages. Is he definitely banned Kalos? He definitely banned Town, probably PS2 as well. Oh, so we're gonna see. Or sorry, not no. Sorry, he didn't ban those stages. What am I saying? It Ling's does, the one does, banning. It doesn't matter because we ended but, uh, up we ended up at Battlefield yes. anyways, and this is. Uh, I think a pretty uh, uh, favorite stage for Palutena, but I agree. 
I think anytime somebody takes Link to Battlefield, it somehow backfires. Like, I don't understand it. So, the character isn't good on this stage, but I think so, Link is just so used to playing against this character because everyone counterpicks him here that he's just good. Well, yeah, so actually I was carpooling with Ling last week, and he actually shared with me what he thinks on this stage, which is he used to not like it, and then he realized when you the counterplay to Peach is to stay above her on the stage, right? It's the circle camper. And if you play patient and fight and you just let them, they're eventually going to make a mistake, and then they're when they're above Peach, they're in disadvantage. Great teleport cancel into the fan footstool there from C. Great routing to find his way back to stage, but Ling is already calling him out. Just like that, neither player can really land comfortably here over and over. Right, These situations are reversing just based on, on landing callouts, and Ling now just playing it patient, going to float, find his way, trying to get back to stage, but C again going to just send him to the other corner. Yeah, uh, they're getting hit right across the stage right there, and a very good improvement here from C in these uh, offstage situations so far in this game, too. He is definitely keeping Ling in the corner much better so far, yep. and it's and it's, showing, it's showing because he's up, but not for long. Yeah, just missing that teleport, the, the edge cancel on the teleport there meant that he got caught in, a, in enough lag where Ling was able to call him out, out, get that fair punish, and with Float having the full hop modifier, that was the stock. Now with turnip in hand, C trying to find a way just to get back, reset to neutral, managing to do so. And even though right, this game is just about even, Ling again not finding anything off the turnip, and C's going to capitalize on the end lag of that item throw to find a huge punish here, really yeah. build a fantastic percent here, Waffle. And the, the punishes continue to go uh, for C. Hasn't stopped for about like 20, 30 seconds right here. Amazing stuff from C to hold the advantage. It's one thing to get the advantage, but to hold it for so long is so impressive. So Ling looking for that down air pressure on shield, probably going to have looked for a back throw afterwards, but C calling it out, not giving him the opportunity. And Ling forced to just re-grab ledge, not getting punished for it in the moment, but gonna get called out in that neutral getup. And Z is putting together a pretty dominant showing here so far in game two. Gonna yeah. get called out by the Peach Bomber, though Ling trying to find some momentum. It's funny because you said the way to beat Peach on this stage, or the theoretical way to beat Peach on this stage is to serve camp him. And I feel like the Battlefield platforms like haven't really come into play at all this entire game. I, it's I, a very horizontal game. Stop lying to the people, dude. I, Have you seen the teleport cancel Z's the, the way he's cancel, utilizing these they platforms to get it. back to stage? You're right. Like, yeah. those platforms have come in clutch for Pally so far. That's true. I'm just a, I'm a, I'm a bad gamer, so I don't even understand. No, you just like lying I don't to the understand people. the greatness of C. No, you just like C's lying gameplay. to the people, Waffle. We, heard, I, we, we all heard you say it to Snivy earlier. That's true. We heard you. I, I wasn't lying on purpose. I was ignorant. Can I be ignorant for once? No. Okay. What I'm not ignorant of is C's, C's punish game right now. <laughs> like, this is insane. But yeah. I, this and is going crazy right he, now. He grabbed Ling on the float cancel, too, with that grab. Finding the jab mix up now just to cover some space. Same with the explosive Ling. Ling gonna use that nair to cross up shielding it back, but Palu has one of the strongest back throws in the game and one of the biggest grab ranges, even after the nerf. That one's gonna close it out, even it up at one game apiece. And Waffle, we are headed to game three. Who do you yep. have winning this set? No oh, bias. Oh, God. You can't do me like that. Yes, I can. I'm going to go with C, and I'll tell you why. Because if you took away the player names on the screen, it would look like Chag versus the local Peach in that last game. It was looking bad for Link. That but being said, I think we just saw Kalos, Ling's favorite stage. Peach is the best stage, arguably, yeah. along with FD and... Right? This is this also is, Ling's counterpick. Right? He's is, dominated on his counterpick, but this is a stage that you never want to take Peach to. Who, this character, one, with a lead on this stage, can utilize his platform, slow camp you so effectively. Palu does have tools to counteract that, but it's still so hard with the flexibility that that allows, that, that provides the Peach. Yeah, for sure. I mean, anytime uh, somebody leaves uh, Kalos open for Ling, Ling it doesn't even hesitate to be just Kalos. Like, as soon as you say the second ban, not even a thought goes into his mind about how where he wants to go because this is just his favorite stage. It's so good for Peach. Yeah. Like, there's there's literally no negatives. Yeah, I mean, you've got, well, the bigger Blast Zone's a little bit, right? Like, Peach doesn't always have the best kill power, but at the same time, that large flat open space is so good for those horizontal combos Peach is known for. And again, right, those platforms coming in clutch. Zelo somehow finding a grab. He runs the air dodge. Yeah, I was gonna. He, that was absolutely brilliant stuff from him. He just he he didn't even necessarily read the air dodge. His his positioning forced it out, 
and then he was a fight like and then it's just okay is he air gonna air dodge is he not so yeah but great stuff from both players so far ling gonna call it out but those blast zones coming in handy for oh, c there no. he's not gonna close it out <laughs> it and this is where peaches, it was a trap from c yeah, i was gonna say this is where right peaches quite sometimes questionable kill power really can come back to bite her on this yeah. stage and it, it really doesn't even matter what stage you go on right now because c is not letting uh, Link get out of the corner time and time again, and we're seeing it that was convert so into stocks. Did you see that fade, the fade on the first back oh, yeah. air, oh, making yeah. Link think he was safe to go to platform? See conditioning for that and immediately calling out the landing on plat. Fantastic stuff from him, and calling out these floats too. It feels like Ling hasn't been able to get comfortable, and this is, I mean. This, is, this the, is brutal. This is the one seed versus, I believe, the eight seed in the entire tournament. Like, this is insane stuff from C. And I mean, you don't see Ling get three stopped very often at all, but that might be what happens here as Ling is struggling to even find get, a way back to state. Get one for the fans, please. <laughs> one for the fans. Come uh, that's on, it. That's it. Back throw at ledge is no. going to do. No, oh, not Kalos. quite. You forgot where we were. <laughs> I, well, I forgot that we weren't quite at ledge. That's is really what it was. Yeah. But uh, Waffle, the down, down tilt, going to catch oh, the end God. of Legend Vuln. And now on the regrab, not going to have any C, not going to punish it, but that back throw is going to do it. Yep. And C taking it 2 1 over Ling. That was and impressive. a three stock on Kalos. Ab I don't. Ab what? After game one, he ran a freaking clinic on Ling. Have you ever seen Ling get out adapted like that? No. Because I don't which think is, I have. Which is crazy because Ling is usually the one who adapts on you. Right? Like, he has, 